Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumina today. We're back in Dragon's Dogma 2. And this time around, we're having a look at feminine human customization exclusively. We're going to jump in. We're going to have a look at everything that's available for feminine human. That'll be the presets and the preset creator that I love so much. The body customization options, the head and face stuff, the markings and scars and tattoos and all that other stuff. And then also at the end, I will include a section with my own custom characters that you can check out if you'd like. Not a whole lot, but a few that I perhaps made for the thumbnails or for future use. That's the plan. If you'd like to do a deep dive to discover all there is to discover about Dragon's Dogma 2, you can find some links below. And as always, there will be timestamps. I recommend you check them out and use them. Now, before I select Feminine Human and jump in here, I will just say that there is a preset picker here where you sort of pick a preset character that has a face and body and everything. They've got a few for, like, you know, each race. they got a few feminine ones for human, a few masculine ones. They're okay. The ones that you can pick here are okay, uh, but there's nothing really special here. I, I particularly like the one that looks a little like Shadowheart on the end here, and I really feel like overall you're better off just making a new character for yourself. Picking the base body, for feminine human and then jumping in here and doing it yourself just customizing the whole thing yourself so the base bodies that they give you here they also i feel not great in most situations they're good and they cover everything don't get me wrong it's cool but like they don't go to the extremes so if you look at the slightly overweight character here then it's not all the way to the max you can put more weight on than that. If you look at the muscle mommy on the end here, you can put more muscles on than that. If you look at the slight skinny one on this side, it's not the skinniest, it's not the slightest. You know what I'm saying? So again, you sort of pick what works for you and then you jump in and you customize it further. I think that that's sort of the mantra that you should go with when you jump into something like this is, yeah, you customize it further, you do it yourself. Because in most cases you can do it better. And with that said, Here's one situation where I kind of disagree with that sentiment. This. My favorite system. I love talking about this. I love spending time in this preset creator that they've made here. It is so cool. I'm going to quickly explain how the system works. Then we're going to jump in and have a look at all the presets available. And just talk a whole lot more about why this is the best system in any character creation that I've ever seen. I love it. Now... You are presented when you jump in here with five pages of presets. Let's quickly scroll through them and I'll show you what they look like. These are all feminine humans. They are varying in ethnic origins. They are varying in age and they are varying in many other <laughs> very, very important aspects. And I dig it. They cover, I think, pretty much as much as you can cover in a character creation system and especially in a preset picker like i've never seen something that's this detailed and this in depth and this the word is probably comprehensive it's awesome now you come in here and this is not where it ends there are three stages you pick the one you like then it gives you another selection a variation of the one you picked and like <laughs> oh man i just i want to gush about it because it's so cool okay you have the base one in the middle. Then you have eight different characters around that could be the different lives that this one in the middle led in the multiverse. There are different versions of this character right here. Then you can pick the one that works for you because there's a lot of different choices. Then you can take it a step further and you can also change the facial structure to sort of work with what you're going for. And it's really cool. Then after this, they'll ask you if you want to customize it further and then you can do the specifics. But it's so much that they put on offer here. And it just seems to work so well. It just makes everything so easy. It streamlines it for those people out there that just want to jump in, get a cool character, just right off the bat and play the game. I love it. Now, let's have a look at all the different options available here. We're going to start at the beginning. I'll jump in. I'm not going to show you this next screen on each of them because this just changes the structure. That's fine. That's cool. I'm going to jump in and I'm going to show you how much it actually gives you. You will notice some patterns here. There's usually a scarred, slightly more uh, war-torn character on the top right. Usually for the fairer-skinned 
character presets, they have the Elven Princess bottom left, and, you know, there are some other similarities that you'll find, but basically they give you these nine different variations of the one character, and it is so cool, because, you know, you can pick something that you think makes sense, and then you can jump in here, and you can sort of, I want to say fine-tune it at a glance, right? That's what you're doing, essentially, is you are taking a character, a certain person, and you're putting them in a different life. A life that maybe works for what you go in for. And I mentioned this, they cover pretty much everything. And it's kind of crazy, because they cover everything on all the different characters. They have all these different variations of the characters on each of these presets. And some of them are, are like drastically different, you know? They, they change a lot of it. They change the skin tone, they change the hair, they change some of the markings on the face and the scars and stuff like that. Uh, I, I have a few criticisms that, that I would like to talk about, but I won't go on about. Uh, one being that they don't really mess with the eyes and the eye colors a lot. And it's like, it's super minor. Like that's super duper minor. Like it's, it's baby stuff, right? And on top of that, I think the, the more grievous one, and it's also kind of minor, it's, <laughs> it's grievous for a system that I love more than anything. Okay, let's say that. But the more grievous one is that they don't really either do anything with makeup or, or markings or anything like that. Did I do this one now or did I not? I'm <laughs> getting kind of lost here. Let me see. Yeah, I think we just did this one. But you will notice that they have usually got this one with the scars, right? And then they have one with like the... the elvish ears and stuff like that but they don't really have any with like proper full-on makeup and you can see there's makeup on this one but they don't do anything really exciting or outside the box they don't put tattoos on either now i i have thoughts on that and i feel like it might just be that these things are too personal for them to bother with in other words like if they put the tattoos on there too much of the guys who are making these models the character artists uh, the modelers and stuff like that uh it'll put too much of their own personality in and it like it might just not work for people so they might have thought to themselves yeah you know let's forego that uh, let's perhaps not do that let's let's leave that in the hands of the player because it makes more sense for them to customize it themselves and uh, uh, just you know see to the finer details themselves and i think that that makes sense uh, i guess what i would have said is that they could have added a fourth option here where it it just threw random tattoos on your character's face and body and stuff like that uh, and you can sort of jump in and just sort of you know pick something or whatever but like it's again this whole conversation about issues or, or, or changes i'd like to see to the system is really nothing i just wanted to mention that i thought that that could be done i love the amount of different characters that you can find in here they they really cover so 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 much and on top of that, I think that if anyone's jumping in here and they want to rapid fire pick something that they think would work for them, it's like, you're definitely going to find something, right? I, I don't think that this is one of those character creation systems where the characters just all look a certain way or uh, kind of weird or, or not right somehow. This is the kind of character creation system where like literally anything is possible and they cover that sentiment almost entirely in this preset picker where they have everything they have some characters that look like celebrities here and you'll see it as you go through here with like faces that you sort of recognize they have some hairstyles that once again sort of funnel the characters into certain styles and looks and feels they have all of it covered and if you're going to be jumping in and you're looking for something sort of half specific the system will probably be able to help you find it it'll guide you towards what you're looking for and I love that about it, <laughs> along with all the other things I love about it. Uh, but but yeah, I, I would love to hear from you guys what you think about this system and how much you love it. Because yeah, it, it really is kind of cool. Uh, I could also use the same argument that I used at the start where I was saying like, you know, it would be nice if they uh, went for more extremes. But I do think that, again, when you go in for the extremes, it ends up being a personal preference kind of thing. And you don't specifically want to subject people <laughs> to to anything that may be harmful to their uh, mental health 
<laughs> so, so uh, you don't want to put any hideous monstrosities in here. And okay, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's beautiful in their own way. Sure, sure. Yeah, okay. Have you seen some of the characters they've made? <laughs> have, you, have you seen what people have done with this character creation system? Nah. Uh-uh. No. 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 Some of that stuff is not okay. <laughs> right? Right? I've seen some people, it's like there was a, a it's like a competition on, on the uh, Fashion Dogma Reddit, where people were trying to make the most hideous witch that they could make. Like the gnarliest looking thing. And, my god, people came through. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. Let's delete this thread, burn the evidence, and move on. Okay, let's just do that. Because, man, <laughs> there is such a thing as a step too far. And I love that it's available. I love that it's possible. And I love that, that the, the guys that made this thought that, that it's better. Did I click this one now? I don't think I did. It's better that people have all the options available. It's better that people have everything rather than just a little bit. You know? Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this stuff is fantastic. The presets are fantastic. And when you jump into the custom stuff, I think I covered everything here. I might have missed this one. When you jump in to make the custom stuff, then it, it gets even more fantastical. I, I, I'm sorry if I'm jumping between stuff. I'm sitting here and I'm like daydreaming about all the custom creations that I can make. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. So I, I specifically really like this last page here with the more mature ladies. Uh, I'm, I'm on the wrong page now. I, I actually, because you know what I actually just did now is I opened this page and I thought this was it. Because like, this is just one lady's different variations. And it's like nine different, entirely different characters. So I specifically like this part. Uh, and I like this because I think that here and in this specific part of the, in this specific like preset picker selection, you really have a lot going on. You have these faces that 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 speak to so many different things to so many different lives led and uh, you know hardships perhaps uh, so many years spent living and and like it, it, it's not really comparable to the stuff that came before it in so many situations i feel like specifically this character creator and not just the female one the male one as well is incredibly incredibly good at making older characters and black characters. I, I think that, like, specifically what they've done with the skin and the textures of the skin, and also the skin tones specifically, it works so well. Incredibly well. Again, for the old faces and and for the for the darker skin types. It's just so cool, man. It's just so cool. So I apologize if I sort of went uh, uh, over a few of these too quickly or, or skipped a few of these. Yeah, you know, it's you, I think you've seen the, the vast majority of them. Oh, look at these nice faces, man. And uh, that should definitely do. Now, as we get to the end of it here, I'm going to say that our next step, our next course of action is going to be to select the standard female human, this one right here. Then I'm going to take one with shorter hair. Maybe. Uh, perhaps I'll change the hairstyle. I don't know. And we're going to jump in just like that. And we're going to move on now to the body options. This is fine. This is a good head and face and hairstyle to work with for the moment. We're going to change it, obviously, when we get in there. But the body options, kind of cool. And there's a lot of stuff you can do here. Now, I want to say that as you jump in here, you can actually toggle your equipment on. It's an important fact to realize you can do that because if you start messing with the body then you might want to know what the armor and stuff will look like you know you might want to know how that will affect your character when you've got your full loadout on so just press v you can do that it's possible and you can see the other controls down at the bottom things like lighting uh, this can also be changed which I, I think is just as important not specifically for the body but for a lot of the other stuff so for the body options we have height this does affect your character's weight, and I'm not sure if it affects your character's carry capacity or anything like that, but listen, needless to say, <laughs> you can be tall. You can be really tall. Uh, then you got torso length. I, I find this is a very weird option 
Uh, it's like a, it's a, it's a strange one that I feel you shouldn't mess with. I say weird because it's the only one of its kind. Like, there's a bunch of other options you can use here, but this one seems a little out of place and strange. It's cool if you're trying to make a character that looks more like a hobbit, like a gnome or something like that. It's cool if you're trying to make a, a slightly sl more slender and taller looking character. It's a good option. It just felt a little weird here. Now, this next one, it's called Muscle Style. I... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to one, and I'm going to talk about this, and I'm going to say I don't really like it all that much. I feel like they should have been way more heavy-handed with this. They give you a ton of options, and most of them are, are so tame that you can barely see anything changing. Like, look at this. I get it. You are working on minute details here. And there are some that definitely give you more muscularity you can see the curves a little better and all that stuff and then i specifically think that the ones for the older skin types are cool but i just believe you could have had five here instead of 25 and you would have been better off is all i'm saying that's more than 25 it's way more than 25 but you go through here and even with the muscle strength to the max because it's where they start you on is 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 the 50 even with muscle strength on the max it's like you some of them you can barely see any difference there's this one i think it's that one Fantastic. It's awesome for making a muscular character, but like a lot of the other ones, mm, I, I think that they should have just dialed it up a little bit more. Give us another 50% on the uh, opacity scale, and I would have been happy with this. But overall, yeah, I mean, you got some options here. And again, if you make an older character, then there are some good options that you can use. Uh, and the, the extra texture that you can put on your skin, it can be useful uh, in certain situations and for certain creations. Again, like this stuff here, it's really cool. Uh, it's incredibly well done, and it looks natural. Yeah, it's cool. But overall, not super impactful. And again, you can slide the opacity of that here. Trap size. We're working on the muscles here for now. You can make the traps big or small. And then upper body muscle mass. As I mentioned, the big and muscular feminine character that they had at the start there, I don't think it had everything maxed out, uh, because you look a little bit more buff when you do this especially when you go into the actual upper body and lower body stuff over there you can go even bigger and it's cool it's it's cool yeah I'm, I'm giving it a thumbs up you can't see it but i'm saying it's cool uh it's also nice how the lower body muscle mass affects the the body uh it, i think it works way better than lots of other games do uh because the muscle mass is spread throughout all the areas where the muscles actually are and uh, it's nice to see that, you know? It's nice to see that. Then you have upper body size. And this is how you make your character slightly heavier. And you have lower body size. And you can also, if you'd like to try and use this in combination with the muscle masses to try and make something different. Uh, but for the sort of fine tuning, I would recommend the next two menus, which you'll see in just a moment. Uh, the next two menus have basically more options to increase the size or decrease the size oh wait the the next two after the head so head options kind of cool and again if you use this in conjunction with the body stuff there's quite a lot you can do there's quite a lot you can do you can make your character look a little weird by making the head teeny weeny and the body really big or vice versa um that's the head length up and down and then this is the head width to the sides it's sort of cursed if you do it wrong so i would say for the most part try and stick with the uh the serving suggestions that they give you, or at least just pay attention to what you're doing. The head depth. There you go. And then the face height, it moves the face up and down on the character's body. And then the neck length. So each of these by itself doesn't feel like it's doing much, but when you combine them all, it can look uh, pretty, let's just say, interesting. <laughs> Upper body. Now, here is the, the specific stuff that you can do to make your muscular character look more muscular. You can make the shoulders broader. You can make the shoulders bigger uh, over here. Um, you can change some of the thickness of the other parts of the body. And it, and it does really make a difference. Here's the chest thickness. Like, if you have more muscle mass, your chest will be a little bigger instead of smaller, you know? Uh, you can make the chest size bigger. Let me zoom in to show you quickly. Because I know that it's something that people want to look at sometimes. <laughs> you can make the size. Then you can change the shape. Which I, I found kind of interesting as well. It's a nice option to have. It's a really nice option to have. And then you can do the height. Which is cool for if you want to sort of simulate the older ages a little better. Or the younger ages a little better. Or, or whatever else. You know? There you go. Those are the options. Then there's torso width. 
again, a very useful one. Uh, if you want to make a lean, more ripped character, you can. If you want to make a bigger, buffer character, stronger looking woman, you can do that. The torso depth. There it is. And then the arm length. Mm -hmm. And arm size. This one, in conjunction with the... Like, if you take it, like, some of the way up, in conjunction with the muscle sliders, works quite well. Then you've got the upper arm thickness and the lower arm thickness, the forearm. I, I do feel like... If you move this up and you just do it like that, the arms don't look great. But when you when you add the muscle mass on there, then it, it really does do quite well. Lower body. Let's have a look at the lower body. Waist. Width. Yep, there you go. Waist size. That's forward and backwards. Then another important one, the rear size. And yeah, you can also look at all of this with your armor on if you'd like to. <laughs> you can have the booty peek peeking out there at the back. Check it out. That's fantastic. Let's zoom in again just to have a look at this. It just peeks out. Awesome. Awesome. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, then you have the leg size overall. And the thigh size. And the calf size. There you go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good options. I, I think that the body options are really cool. The posture options here are quite interesting. Uh, it took me a, a good couple of hours to realize what this movement style was. It's actually changing the way your character walks, the way they put their feet down, uh, the way they basically <sighs> stride forth, either with confidence or with trepidation. <laughs> so you can look at the footfalls specifically. Um, this one seems slightly more determined. Uh, they 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 leaned forward a little bit more, like they're sort of going for it. This one slightly slightly more hesitant when you move all the way on this side, uh, where you can see they're putting their feet down more gently. Uh, it's it's an interesting and very minute movement change, but it's enough to notice. And then you can do the elbow angles. You can have the macho walk, you know, with the elbows out, or you can have them in. Uh, then you can do the knee angle, which is a similar situation, in or out. And then finally, you can do the posture, the best slider. You can be hunched over like this. You could use this for varying things, you know, if you're making a character that creeps around or if you're making an old character or whatever. And then you can go back like this if you want to just have some extra swagger, you know? It's a dangerous set of sliders, though, and I would say just be careful if you're not experienced with it. <laughs> now, we move on to the head. The head options. So, base head. This is an interesting one. Uh, basically what you have here is you have all the different heads from the presets that we looked at, essentially. And what you can do here is you can just put an extra, a different face and or head on the character that you've already made. Sorry, I bumped my desk. Uh, I'm making hand motions and you can't see them. <laughs> so the idea of this is actually kind of cool. And I'll tell you why and how you can use this as I go through the different options and you can sort of see what they look like. But what you can actually do is you can go through and customize your whole character. You can add all the cosmetic changes you'd like to add. So this includes things like tattoos, markings, uh, makeup. You can do all the, the custom stuff, the eyes, the nose, the lips. Then you can come back here and you can change the base head. And it will just give you an entirely different look and feel. And you can see that there are some heavier faces here. There are some lighter faces. There are some older faces. There are some younger faces. There are a lot of different faces here. You can change this. You can pick something you like. And you can just with that perhaps... I don't want to say fine-tune because it's not really fine-tuning. But you can change things in some ways without changing other things. And that's kind of useful. You know, you could see what your character would look like if it was a little older, a little heavier, a different ethnicity, and so on and so forth. That does make it a very important choice, but I feel like if you choose the, the right preset that you want, then that's kind of unimportant. Then we have the base skin. So this is your skin color and your skin type and the texture and all that stuff put together. The way this one works is basically the same, where you can set up all of the rest of your character, then you can come back here and you can once again just change this and see what your character would look like in these different situations or states as these different people. Uh, it, it's very cool. It's a nice system. I love it. And I love the amount of detail on some of these faces where some of them have the pores visible, some of them have more wrinkles, and you can, by the way, do the wrinkles more. In other words, if you pick an old face here, let's take... Uh, 
31, then you can pull the wrinkles up to the max and they can look more uh, defined, you know, they can stand out a little more. Uh, but yeah, there's there's just a lot that you can pick from and you can see the the skin scarring and marring and the different marks here and there on some of the faces. You can even see some of them look like goddamn wax figures because they're so perfect. It's just cool that there's so much variety, right? It's just cool that there's so much that you can work with. I like it. Then if that was not enough, you get to pick a skin tone that goes over the tone you picked, which can lighten or darken the one that you have. Now this is a very interesting uh, menu because, and I, I specifically picked this one that I have right now, because it has the extremes visible. In other words, you can see it can go quite dark and it can go quite light. But I say it's interesting because some of them don't go so far. So if you like put basically the darker skin tone here, most of these options won't change it all that much. You'll be able to change the tone from a warmer tone to a cooler tone. Uh, yeah, but it won't change the color all that much. So just keep in mind that this will be used in conjunction with those and you'll be able to do different stuff based on what you've picked there. As I mentioned, the wrinkles slider uh, is used to just control how many wrinkles your character's face has and it works on all of them. Uh, it just depends on what you want to do. Skin sheen, it's basically how shiny or sweaty or waxy your character looks. It's another one you're going to want to be careful with because it can make your character look a little unnatural, especially in different lighting. So watch out with that one. Brow. Let's have a peek at the brow options. Very important. Uh, they set the tone of your character's expression. You can make your character look more stern and serious, more curious. Uh, you, can, you can do a whole lot of stuff, make them look concerned. Uh, this is the brow depth. There you go. Then you've got an inner depth and an outer depth, which is like that. I'm pulling the wrong one. Inner depth is on this side and outer depth is on the outside. Yeah. And people have used these to great effect to create like, you know, celebrities or, or, or just characters in movies or shows or cartoons or games or anything like that. It's useful. It's super cool. Once again, to, to create that, like there you've got like, sort of like a bit of an anger there. Uh, and then you can also have uh, more concern if you'd like, which is which is pretty cool. It's nice that you can have uh, any of that or both of those or, or a combination. It's nice to be able to change the face and the expression. Then you've got a brow bend here. Uh, you know, you can be more curious or, or not. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah, the brows, very big deal. Uh, they, they do a lot. Now we move on to the eye options here. The eye color and stuff is in a different menu. This is just the eye shape. You've got to be careful with these as well. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do, but there's also a lot that can go wrong here. Here's the depth. Eye size. Let's get back to the front so we can see. Pretty impactful stuff. A lot that you can move around here. I like it. You can even close the eyes. I think this is like, it's one of those options again, that's like, it's super niche uh, and it can work incredibly well uh, if you really pay attention to it and you sort of make something cool. And I'm going to make something cool with this, by the way. So check the, the end of the video out or check the thumbnail out. I already had a plan to make like a gnarly fighter with a big scar on the one eye and it'll be like blue and battered and bruised and stuff. It's super cool to have, but it, it's kind of difficult to use. Then you can set the squint. And I really like that you can do it on the individual eyes. You know, you can do it more on the one, less on the other one, whatever, you know. Nose. Pretty cool as well. Lots of stuff you can change here. Lots going on here. There's the nose length. It's more actually the nose height, but anyway. Uh, the bridge. There you go. Bridge height. Bridge bump. That's the middle. Then you can have the upper bump and the lower bump. Then the nostril size. This is actually quite an impactful one as well. Nostril height. Nostril width. The tip. Just to make your nose longer. I like how much they let you change here. Uh, it's, it's kind of a brave system in that regard. And then the sharpness of the tip. I like that they don't let, they don't hold back, you know, they just give you what they give you and it's it's a lot. <laughs> then the ears. There are a bunch of uh, presets you can pick from here. Don't worry too much about the presets because you can just do it all yourself. Like if you go through these, you'll see there's a few different ones, but they're basically just moving the sliders around, right? So uh, yeah, you can do the size. You can make them pretty big, which is nice. People like that. You can change the angle. It's like an up or down rotation. Then you can do the openness, which is how far they stand out. Uh, then you can do the tilt. 
in or out or basically up or down the tips you can make them sharper or well rounder and then the lobes also a nice one it's a lot of ear options man cheeks pretty impactful stuff like really impactful stuff this is also and i want to i want to i want to really stress this it's like you can do some pretty insane stuff with this if you go back to the base head you know i remember i said don't worry too much about about the base head because you get the base head in the preset that you pick but if you take this and you oh, i'm just doing it <laughs> and you go back to the base head and you throw on certain of these faces you will notice that some of them this one for instance have been made with chubby cheeks in mind you will see like double chins forming you will see all sorts of different options that you wouldn't just see naturally on one of the regular faces so keep in mind once again it's one of those things where you just want to go back and forth and just check everything out uh, so you got the cheek bulge here and this is like the cheek and neck thickness all together and then you got the neck fat separately so it's like a lot of stuff man then the cheek height these three options aren't too impactful uh, the cheek width and then the cheek depth there you go you'll see i'm like i'm like leaving all of them on like minus one minus two there's minus seven at the end like sometimes you end up having like a situation where those small amounts they come back and they and they haunt you at the end of it <laughs> your character looks just a little bit off just a little bit wrong I hope that's not the case we'll see we'll see we'll see uh the mouth you can move it up or down mouth width make it nice and big that's cool the protrusion yeah there you go they just offer so much man you can do this like weird looking smile or you can do the slightly more you know, sad look the thickness of the lips kind of nice and then the lip position of the bottom lip good options finally the jaw and chin these are very, very big as well, especially with the different face types. And you can see that some of these, the defaults here are quite extreme already, which is nice. It's nice to see. There's the jaw protrusion. Uh, that's to help with the double chin if you want it. Chin height. There you go. Chin width. Chin protrusion. That's forward and back. And then finally the sharpness. There you go. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. I'm going to reset the head and see how much it changed. Huh. Yeah, it's mostly the skin color that was different. Now, next up, we have the body hair. Unfortunately, no beards on the ladies. Uh, it's, it's, sa it's sad. It's sad. Also, no bodily hair, uh, which is also a little sad, but it's not a big deal. It's okay. We're okay with this. The hairstyles are phenomenal. There's a bunch of really cool ones. The way I am going to do this is I'm going to select two tones. I'm going to select one darker tone, which we've already got. Then I'm going to select one lighter one, and we're going to do all in one. So I'll take this one, and then I'm going to set the blend uh, to be basically a little more like that. Yeah, like, like, like this. Or maybe we'll put it on the max so you can see what it looks like. Now, I want to say that this sometimes makes the hair look a little worse than it could otherwise look in other words some of them they look a little unnatural but just keep in mind i'm doing it like this to show you just how much you can you can blend the hairstyles right so if we go through these the hair in this game especially when you zoom in it's kind of great uh, there's some nice physics involved uh, there are some very decent styles that you can pick from that look good that look realistic that look interesting and fun uh, and What's also cool is that they gave all the hairstyles to the males and the females. So there's no exclusive stuff. Uh, you can you can do what you want with it. And it's kind of nice. I really like the hair in this game. I think it's well done. And the the coverage is great. They've, they've got everything. I think they'll make everyone happy with this. There's, and it's usually something I nitpick about a little bit. I'm like, ah, there's not enough short styles. Well, in this case, there's enough short styles. There's enough long styles. There are enough curly styles, there are dreads, uh, there's, there's a lot. There's enough ponytails, which is also something that sometimes somehow ends up lacking. A lot of different braids, you know. They've got the Killmonger cut because they have to have it. It's sort of written in the, <laughs> in the law at this point. But yeah, so basically keep in mind... You can change the way that this works and i'll show you in great detail how in just a moment i will show you exactly how you can uh, customize the different colors and all that 
Let's pick a good hairstyle for it. I kind of like... Whatever, let's take this one. We might have to change afterwards, but there you go. Then we're going to look at all the different colors available. So, first things first, to show you all the colors, just the colors, I will take the, uh, the tip color away. Well, it's not away, it's on this one, the black one now. But I will leave this like this, and we'll just go through the colors, and just keep in mind that that little bit at the bottom over there on the tip... If you want that gone, you just pick the same color on both, right? So let's look at the colors available. I, I will say right at the start here, I think that there's a really good selection. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Uh, they have fantastic amounts of dark colors, some really nice lighter colors. I don't like the reds and sort of the more ginger styles that they have, uh, colors that they have so much. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of them. I think that they could have done a little bit better with the red here. I don't know, maybe it's just a, a sort of cultural thing that they don't know how nice red hair looks. But, like, you don't have no Aloy from Horizon uh, in this game. You don't have that beautiful, like, vibrant red. You can get stuff that's sort of close, but, but not exactly that. The blondes, they look better, I think. They have a great selection of blonde and yellowy styles. The greys are fantastic. The, the blacks are really nice. They're deep. Uh, they look good. But I really do believe that, that the reds and the, and the sort of more orangey colors are underrepresented here. That's, that's the one thing I will say. This is the closest you'll get to that, I think. Uh, but they're still good. The colors are, are still really good. Now, as I mentioned, this will help you blend the hair. You can see over there. Then you've got the sheen position and the sheen amount. I have a lot to say about the sheen, and I'm not sure all of it is correct. Uh, but basically, the way I see the sheen working is it... It basically applies a different style of lighting to, to the whole of the head. And if you move the position around, I feel like it moves the focus of the lighting to like the more individual strands to give you more detail. Or you can move it onto the whole, which gives you a, a, a sort of more, not so much unrealistic or cartoony look, but a more stylized look. And, and you can change that to whatever makes more sense to you. Uh, I think that certain styles look better with, with, with some settings here than others. But uh, yeah, it's something to mess around with. Now, because of the rest of the customization we're jumping into, I will do something that might make some people a little unhappy. But I'm going to put some shorter hair on this lady. <laughs> Let's just pick something quickly so that we can see the face. Uh, she still looks great like this. And then let's carry on. Let's make the hair color all the same so that it doesn't distract us. I love that. I love that black man. It's really nice. Eyebrows. There are a few interesting different styles here. Uh, one of the better eyebrow systems I've seen. It's nowhere near as good as Nightingale's, but it's kind of nice. Uh, you can have some bushy brows. You can have some, uh, what do you call this, nicked brows. Uh, and, and there are some more fine styles as well. Uh, but basically, no matter what you pick, you can actually set the thickness over here. And I like how dynamically it changes, where you can actually see it add in individual strands of hair as you pull the slider up. So you can have them very bushy, or you can have them very uh, fine or thin. And overall, on, on most of them, it just looks really good. Yeah, it's well done. Then you can change the color. Not going to go through all these colors. It's the same colors as the hairstyles. Every single color is here, all the way up to 178. So you can do what you want here. You can do a, uh, a, a matching style like I have here, matching color like I have here. Or you can mix it up. That's perfectly valid as well. Now, the body here, it's funny, like, they, they don't have the eyelashes uh, here, but, <laughs> yeah, they um, they have it in the next menu, which we're jumping into now. Now, we're going to move on to the eyes. I kind of like this. I think that they've done reasonably well with the eyes. Uh, you will have noticed, maybe, that the styles that they have and then the colors that they have for the hair, it's more grounded in reality in that they don't want you to have, like, dyed hair, like, bright colors and stuff like that. There's no full RGB. Uh, and I think that's better. It suits the game style quite well, and uh, it makes sense. Now, they have eye styles here. For the eyes, you can have a more standard, straightforward look, uh, which is just a regular eye. Then you can have a more detailed one with, with more stuff going on uh, in and around the iris. And then you can have the, the sort of glazed over one, right? And you can customize them all pretty significantly. There are eye color presets here that I'm going to go through very quickly uh, because they don't really matter all that much. I say that because uh, it's much easier just changing it to suit what you want. You know, it's much easier to change it yourself and, and coming up with something slightly brighter. They have a good selection. 
and it's great and and it's like it's what you'd need if you pick in just using presets but there's also a lot you can do by yourself right so if we jump in here and we actually customize ourselves for now i will just leave it on this one you can do the primary color and there's a lot of good colors here and what i'm going to do for this is i'm just going to go through the colors and show you what they look like but i want to say that there's a combination going on here so i'm going to pick like a whiter color on this and a, a whiter color on that so you can see because when i pick this one it's just that middle section right uh, so maybe actually if i do white on all of them let's check which one's the most impactful no now nah, you see it is the middle one that's the most impactful so the, the, the issue basically is that you need to go with the same color on all three of them to get a, a really strong look. Like you, if you want the color to actually be shown off. So what I'm doing is I'm making the eyes a little bit bigger so we can see the color better. Uh, and then I'm going to go through the colors here and I'm going to ask you to use, <laughs> use your imagination. I know that's kind of stupid, but like I'm not going to change every one of them to the same color right now. It'll take too long. And I don't think everyone wants to sit through that. But I'll show you the colors here. The color choices that they have are, for the eyes specifically, fantastic. There's a huge amount of them, and you will notice that they cover way more bases than I think you need covered. Like, way more than the hair has, as an example. Now, you can't, as I said, see it very nicely on there right now, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll try our best regardless. We'll go through them. I think maybe going through them on, I'm at 136 now, on eye type 3 might be better. Let's just have a look. Ooh, that looks really cool. That looks really cool. Yeah, here you can see the color better. So if I if I go through it here, you can sort of see it, it, it looks a little bit more uh, distinctive. And you can sort of see what it would look like on the others. But overall, yeah, it's just a lot. And this is going to be one of those things where you're going to want to jump in and just do it yourself. Because uh, for me to try and show all of this off is going to be a fool's errand. And it would be uh, pointless pointless because you can't really show the colors off unless you change all three to the same one every single time now the eyes are pretty bright here and the the quality on them is great and everything just overall pops a little bit so you can sort of see the colors quite nicely uh, what i like to show it off with is the blue eyes specifically 299 over there I feel like they are very bright and vibrant and they stand out even at a, like a longer distance so what i'll show you is I'll put the blue one on all three. And you can have a peek at that. You can see just how bright it becomes. There you go. If I change the eye type, it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Uh, then you can also change the background color, uh, which is something that's definitely not a quote unquote realistic, but it helps. It helps uh, it's it's like you can you can make let's say some more fantasy stuff with this you can make yourself a vampire or a demon or, or any other such thing by changing this back here to to anything you like and you can make it colors along with white and black and all the rest uh, so there's just a lot going on here that you can fiddle with and that you can make work I think the best looking one for a regular eye is number 16 uh, yeah so then you got the iris size and the pupil size and that's that you can also throw on the heterochromia so you can have the one eye one color uh, if you want it to be blue you can make it blue you can make the other one a uh, nice green or something like that and it will look good look really good actually so there you go that's the eye stuff eyelashes i feel like the eyelashes these options are a little uh, weak <laughs> but they're okay uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push the length up quickly so you can see what they look like and the density um, it's just a little hard to see you know so if we go through the types here god so there are ones that are that are more significant and less significant if i click through them quickly you can see it's basically varying degrees of hairy right and then you can also change the color to a decent selection i suppose for eyelashes it's not the same as the hair, you know, you don't have all of them here. But they've got the light ones, they've got the dark ones, and they've got some in between here. And then you can also do the root to tip blend, which is basically if you choose one as lighter and one as darker, you can have them look like this. So there you go. Nothing too, like, crazy for this. Uh, but it's something that you, you kind of end up missing when you don't have it. So you should usually, like, I would say usually put the, eye, the eyelashes on a little bit uh, and, and have them visible, but don't go too hard on them. 
eyeshadow. This is the first of the actual makeup. There are some decent options here. What I'm going to do for this is I'm going to select black. Then I'm going to push the intensity up. And I'm going to show you basically what they look like full on. Now, there's two ways of doing this. There is a normal one and then there's a metallic one with like sheen that you can throw on as well. Personally, I feel like this looks the best, uh, but it's a it's a it's a personal opinion. It's like I think there will be people out there that disagree. Uh, but the base one also ends up looking kind of interesting because the base one gives you the the colors better. So, if you look at the colors on the base one, they look like this, right? There's not a huge amount of colors, unfortunately. Uh, I think we have like 25 or something. Mm, 30 Oh, okay, 49 colors, but there's a decent amount here, uh, and you can take these, and on any of them, you can make them metallic, and 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 to me that's great, especially if you add the metallic to the sheen, because then you can make it look like awesome. It's it's just a great design. It's just something that you can do a lot with, and then you can change the secondary color to whatever you want. I, I would say matching it sometimes works better. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff that you can actually fiddle around with here, and and I think hopefully people will have a lot of fun with this. Actually, I feel like the sheen is is probably the most important one. The sheen allows you to do some really interesting stuff. But yeah, uh, for the styles, let's go through those quickly. Let's put let's leave these two off and let's go through the styles quickly. You just have different levels of coverage, and it's different blends of color one and color two essentially this doesn't look all that great if you just plop it on and then you start fiddling on the other stuff you'd want to combine them i think the eyeliner by itself works better uh, all by itself and if you just put in one of the two on i'd say eyeliner alone is better the different styles let's look at them quickly but again in combination they work really well like you can combine them and you can make some really cool looking styles here so again the same colors as the previous ones and I feel like, let's take this quickly, again, much like the previous one, if you throw the metallic on there and the sheen on there, you get a really cool effect. Yes, yes, it's not for everyone, but it's a cool effect. And you can change the colors again, and it can look really nice. Not a huge amount of options for makeup, but it's enough. Especially with the stuff that I've seen players do when they start fiddling with the tattoos. Like, you can use tattoos as makeup as well. Freckles, uh, yeah, freckles are great. Type 1 is not really anything. Type 2 is a little bit on the nose. Type 3 is across the whole mid face. And uh, that's just on the cheeks. And then type 5 is the whole face. The freckles in this game are cool. They look really good. Different colors here. I initially thought that maybe you could throw the, like, the lighter freckles on a darker skin to have like a really cool effect or look with that. But you can't do that, unfortunately. It seems like when you have a darker skin, they just sort of disappear into the skin tone. Um, but yeah, freckles are nice. You can set the opacity on them. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Cheeks. The one option that I never seem to get working. Uh, yeah, cheeks. So this is cheek makeup. Uh, you use it like it's blush or something. I have seen it work quite nicely across the nose like this, but on the cheeks specifically, I never really see it working. I don't know why. It just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, there it is. And uh, it is something that you can do. Then you can change the color of it as well. And you can also make it metallic and you can add sheen. So yeah, uh, have fun with it. There's a lot you can do. The colors are the same as the... Oh no, they're not the same actually. There's more here. This is more of like a war paint color system. I thought they were the same, but... Let's go through them quickly and have a look. Funny that they don't have this on all the makeup. Because I really feel like all the makeup would benefit from having all these colors. Especially when you put the metallic and the sheen on. I mean, like, they've got really nice colors here. Maybe they did intend for this to be used like war paint because there's like the blue colors and the greens and stuff here. It would have made sense, right? But you can't really move it around, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's not that versatile. But there you go. Yeah, it's a decent number of options. Uh, you have to you have to know what you're doing with makeup to make that work. Lips. Those are slightly more straightforward. Uh, there's a decent number of options for colors here. I'm going to take the red one so I can show this off first. And I will set the opacity to max. There are a few decent styles, a few nice styles, but it's it's still pretty straightforward. I, I would have liked that, that one style where it's sort of just that little bit in the middle of the lip. That would have been nice, um, and, and I suppose it would have been nice to be able to split the top and the bottom lip up somehow. But overall, I think I'm happy with what they have here. 
Let's look at the colors quickly. They have darks. The black colors here, the dark browns, the reds. They have the lighter ones like white. They again don't really have a lot of crazy colors. Uh, there's no like proper greens and blues and stuff. There are some, but like it's not proper. Which I do find a little weird. Like they give you all the pinks and the reds, but like that's it. Sorry, I zoomed out. But that's it, you know. So I'll take the black quickly and then I'll show you how this works. That's the opacity. Uh, that's the metallic slider. And then that's the sheen. As you've seen before. And that's it for the lips. Finally, in this section, we have the teeth. Yeah, there's tooth customization. Proper tooth customization. You can remove any number of teeth that you want to. And uh, you can just mix and match. See what makes the most sense for your character. Right? <laughs> <laughs> see what you find aesthetically pleasing or you can remake yourself maybe you lost a tooth somehow somewhere some way and uh, you want to make maybe this is the tooth that you lost and you want to recreate yourself as a character then there you go you've got the option then you also have the option to make your character's teeth darker or slightly more decayed or whatever you want to call it there we go teeth I don't know how often you're actually going to see your teeth I just want to point that out right now <laughs> I don't know how often you're going to see them uh, no idea, because I don't think the character actually talks all that much. Yeah, so, uh, next section. Tattoos. Now there are presets, right? There are presets for the tattoos. These give you preset tattoos in specific locations all around the whole body. And they're cool. Uh, and they give you, like, some variety here. Uh, not so much on the face. There are some that go up onto the face, but not a lot. It's mostly on the body itself. And it's a few combinations that I think just made sense for the guys making this game. A few combinations that just looked good, basically. But if I'm being honest, I would say that you can probably come up with cooler stuff for yourself. Uh, again, if you're just in a hurry and you want to make something quick, quick, uh, snippety snap, then this is a good way of going about it. And they have some that you can see clearly are meant to look like war paint, uh, or in this case, blood. And then they have some that are meant to look like tattoos as well. So, uh, yeah, presets. The reason I'm not spending too much time on this or zooming all the way in or whatever is because we're going to do uh, the, the full customization on the tattoos and you'll see everything there. All right, so take this off. Body tattoos. Now, each section of the body, it's split up into basically the, the chest and torso and the face. It's the entire body. And then left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. So you've got those. Each of them can have two tattoos. So here's the one. And if you click that button over there, then you get the second one at the bottom. And then you can just mix and match. I'm going to show you the tattoos down here on her chest by doing this, putting them over there. Uh, yeah, on the tummy rather. Let's put it on the tummy. I thought the chest might be better, but let's do that. Then I'm going to go through them. And I want to point out that some of them will look a little weird because their proportions might be messed up. And I'm also going to quickly pick one with multicolors, so I can set the colors, so you can see the different colors over here. There you go. Mm, let's do that. There you go. So, the way it works is, you have regular tattoos, you can move them around, you can make them bigger and smaller, and then you have some that have different colors. There's a primary color, that's the white. The secondary color is the blue, and the tertiary color is the bronzy gold color. And yeah, you can, you can customize them any way you want it's kind of cool but like as an example this one you can see it's stretched a little bit so you got to make it smaller uh, horizontally uh, this one you could make it longer vertically or smaller horizontally it would look fine then uh, but yeah some of them look a little weird because the proportions are messed up uh, but there is a decent number of tattoos here and then there's also a decent number of uh, body markings and war paint and stuff like that i think that there's basically more than enough for you to work with And yeah, I think if you move these around, I'm going to show you how you can move them right now. So keep in mind what's available here. And if you move them around, you can do some cool stuff. Because these ones also go on your character's face, right? So anything you see here can be moved all the way up to the face. I'll show you how it works in just a moment. Okay. So if you take any of them, let's take this one. You have a lot of options to just manipulate it. 
And if you want to, you can take it all the way up, basically as high as the uh, face of your character. So the vertical position can go all the way up onto your face. And with that, well, the world of customization is your oyster. You can do anything you like with it. You can put it anywhere on your character's body or on the face. So then you've got the horizontal position, which makes it move all the way around the head. You've got the rotation, which turns it, obviously. And you can do this with any of them, by the way. Any of them. Then there's the overall scale. You can make it, like, basically uh, huge. <laughs> or you can make it so small uh, that you can barely see it. I think you can probably make it so small that you can't see it. There, it's under her nose. There you go. Right? So you've got a lot to fiddle with here. And from personal experience, I will tell you that there's a lot you can do with this. Uh, like, as an example, I made like a bloody sort of vampiric looking character. And I used this on her mouth. And I made it red. And I made it look like blood running down by taking the opacity down a little bit. Uh, by making it, uh, let's see, metallic and adding sheen to it. And it was great. It worked incredibly well. And you can do the same stuff with any of these. You can do similar sort of fun things with the tattoos. The system itself, it might be one of the most comprehensive. I think the most impressive and comprehensive system I've seen is probably something like Myth of Empires. Uh, they have a really cool system in there. But with any of these, you can still do incredibly cool stuff. So if we take some of the scripture, for example, you can make it huge, massive. Right, so you can you can pull the scale up all the way, and it doesn't lose too much quality or anything like that. And you can still put it on your character and have it look kind of cool. Uh, you can make the scale really small or smaller, and you can bring it up. You can put it on your face, like this one, for example. Uh, if I take the size smaller, and I bring the horizontal position over a little bit, I can have it be some uh, scripture on my character's cheek. I can maybe turn the rotation a bit for it to make sense, like that. Bring the vertical position down. Uh, horizontal a little this way and there you go uh, you know and then you can add that second one in and you can do something else with this there's just so many options uh, as an example I could take this one up here and I can move it all the way to the top and I can add it to the top of my character's head to make it look like sort of spikes coming out there or some nonsense <laughs> like that uh, you can put it around her neck because it could look nice there uh, you can put it on her back as well you can move it anywhere you like and again, with all the different color combinations, it's just, it's crazy how much you can actually do with this. Like, you really have to come in here and and try all the different options out because, yeah, it's, it's big. It's a big system. So for now, I'm going to take this off. The way it works then is you can do the body ones, then you can do right arm. Uh, left arm, right leg, left leg, and it works in exactly the same way. You get the tattoo on the arm, you get to move it around, you get to do whatever you want with it, same thing, and on the two legs. Then we have scars. The scar presets are not that great. Uh, I'm not going to go through them in too much detail. It's basically just a bunch of different scars on the body uh, and on the face that you can put on, and it looks okay. You know, they've done a decent job with it. You can have some burn marks as well, but... Again, I think that you, for the most part, can just do more interesting stuff uh, with it yourself. They have some here with like proper um, stitches and stuff. Some bigger scars. It's cool. Yeah, the presets are okay, but like you can do so much more with the scars yourself. Now, this is a duplicate of the tattoo system where you pick a scar and then you can manipulate it. You can move it around in any way you like. And then the body scars that you have here they are the same ones that you put on the face. I will show you that example in just a moment. Let's just go through these quickly and see what they look like. You've got these ones, then you've got a burn one. You've got some bigger slashes. Then you've got some stitches that are big and stitches that are small. A few crosses, a few that are obviously meant for eyes. Uh, chicken scratches, basically. <laughs> and then some uh, sort of, I don't know what that is. Dirty burn marks and some more burn marks or, or whatever. I don't know. A lot of stuff but you can take this and you can move it around this is again the body and the the head stuff so you can take this one up to the character's face uh, you can use it on the face big or small uh, you can make the scale smaller and you can just have it like on the character's cheek or something like that if you'd like 
and yeah uh, you can find a place for basically anything and you can do some really cool stuff there are there are some interesting combinations that you can pull off here and i think that probably people will will come up with some really cool stuff uh, really fun stuff with this creator that that will just make yeah make <laughs> make sense that will just look good I've already seen a bunch of cool combinations, uh, a bunch of cool characters, a bunch of cool visual styles that I, I had never even thought of. Uh, but yeah, so you can you can customize them. Let's bring this down again so I can show you what you can change. Let's move it around here a little bit. The scale, as you saw, it can go like really big and really small. Then you can tile them. And this is something I didn't even get into on the on the tattoos, which is kind of ridiculous. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> Hold on, I'll go back quickly and show you what the tiling looks like on the tattoos. Uh, so, the tattoos, tiling them is is kind of insane. <laughs> that's what uh, maybe that's why my brain just blocked it out. Uh, if you put a, a tattoo over here and you tile it, you can tile it as many times as you want. It can be teeny weeny, and you can improve the scale of it. And you can cover the whole body with it and you can just go nuts with it right you can do whatever it messes up it it, it gets completely uh, i i want to say unrecognizable but they don't hold back they let you do what you want to do uh, and it's the same with the scars you can tile the scars uh, you can change their overall scale you can have the whole body covered in scars and it's it's nuts like that it's super nuts then on the tattoos, they have the intensity slider over here. This basically makes the tattoo way darker. Uh, and it changes the look and feel of some of them, you know. It just adds more contrast, basically. Uh, and then you've also got the sheen on here, if you'd like that. If you'd like the scars to look a little more glistening or shiny. So yeah, it's a lot of options. Uh, and, and this is the same, once again, as the tattoos, where you can put it on any body slot that you want. So you can put two on here. Uh, if you want to put one on the face, like as an example, the, the classic over the eye one, then you can change the, let's take it up to the head. You can change the scale. Let's make it a bit smaller so it can fit over the eye. Then you want to bring it uh, rotation. Let's see. You can have it like that. Then let's just move it around a little bit. So we put it over the eye and then put the horizontal one over there. A little bit more up. There you go. You can do that. If you'd like and uh, then you can put another one on the body another one on the face whatever you like then as i mentioned there's also the right arm left arm right leg left leg the final option here in the uh, tattoos and markings is dirt and this is a pretty big deal uh, there's a lot you can do with this i i keep saying that i think that you can make a whole lot of interesting stuff happen with the dirt that you know is going to take a little bit more thought so there's types i'll show you what they look like there's there's different types this one covers the body pretty i would say significantly pretty completely but it leaves the head part out there then you have one that just covers everything uh, then there are a few with with different textures basically uh, so this one over here specifically if you change the colors on this there are some very interesting combinations that you can pull off uh, with like these brighter colors you can use them to change your character's skin tone in essence you got some like sickly looking ones that look like i don't know blue cheese or something and each of these looks quite different so if you take this completely covered one there's this one over here that can make you look like a proper zombie uh, that can make you look like I don't, I don't know a white walker or something and i just feel like a lot of these options can be used to great effect to, to make a, a like this one as an example to make a much more pale looking character a, a, I don't know a ghostly looking character something else there's just a lot here that i feel is currently untapped people need to realize how to use this and when you change the coverage and the opacity it's very dynamic you can see it goes through different phases of coverage and it's really cool how they've done it so i feel this is one of those systems where people are really just gonna have to jump in fiddle with it and and figure something out with it because there are probably cool things you can do and it's just not been a, it's not been discovered yet i've been fiddling with it but i've not really discovered anything huge <laughs> so that's actually it for the customization the final thing i'm going to show you is the uh voices right the voices this is the final menu was well, it's, it's the second to last menu the final menu asks you to give your character a name uh but and we'll do that in just a moment but this one 
you choose your vocation over here uh, it changes what you start as you can change this at any point later so you choose the vocation here you can change it again later and look look different and use different weapons or whatever so this class is not a permanent decision and then you have voices i'm gonna stop talking for a moment and i'll show you the voices so enjoy <laughs> Some of those male laughs are just over the top. Anyway, you can pick a male or female voice, uh, whatever you like. You can do what you want there. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it, it's nice. I don't think you actually ever hear your character talking so much. Uh, but yeah, you you have the grunts, you have the laughs, the emotes, stuff like that. So it's, it's still a pretty important choice. The final thing that you can do is you can finalize uh, once you've picked everything. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure why they say nothing. There you go. Okay. All necessary fields are the voice, right? So you finalize, and then it lets you put your name in. So I can put Lumen in here if I'd like. And then you pick a moniker. And the moniker, basically, uh, I, I think what this is, is like what they... I don't know if it's what they can refer to you as. Uh, I don't know if this is a system from the first game. But it has a massive list of names that, that you can go through here. And I don't know if you can find... A name that suits you in here or the name that you want or your name or whatever but they want you to pick a moniker here and I, I, I again assume it's what they're gonna refer to you as if you want them to uh, because they might have a system where these words have been pronounced but they can't pronounce your nickname uh, something like that I suppose but there's a lot of different monikers here and I mean some people's names are here uh, you know there's a lot of well-known or, or let's just rather say common names in here that you would be able to find so maybe you can make your character's name whatever you want it to be and then you can put your real name in here if you want to or, or whatever or i don't know if you're going to maybe pick something that that you like or that that just makes sense but the whole alphabet's worth of names are in here and it's a lot to choose from i don't know if you're gonna you know get too much out of the choice that you make uh, but, but there are some here that will look familiar you know um, and there are some that, that you will know from other games or from other series or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's interesting that they put this in. I, again, don't know exactly what this is. If you want to, you can maybe weigh in. Uh, let everyone watching this video know what the monikers are for. Uh, but there's a lot of different choices. A lot. A lot. A lot. There you go. We're almost at the end now. Not a lot of X's, obviously, and not that many Z's either. And then you're finished. Then you can actually save the character and just uh, put it there, ready on the shelf for launch. And that brings us to the end. What a fantastic character creation system. I have nothing but good to say about this character creation system and everything you can do in it. The amount of detail that they, uh, that they allow you to customize. The amount of choices that they've given us. You know... Just based on the amount of cool characters that people have made that I've seen uh, on the internet as a whole, I would say that this is probably one of, if not the best character creators out there at the moment. It's just, it's got everything. 
and I, I went on about the preset picker and the presets available and stuff like that and I'll go on about that stuff again because it's so 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 cool uh, but overall if you're looking to make a really good looking female character if you're looking to make a strong looking fighter if you're looking to make something that looks more like yourself uh, if you are both those things fantastic you can do that uh, you can make anything you want in this and uh, the sheer versatility you know that's offered then on top of that if you get really technical and you start using the tattoos and the scars and stuff like that uh, the dirt as i mentioned all these different things can come together to make some pretty awesome characters and creations i've even seen people making different races i've seen goblins i've seen orcs uh, you know i've seen all sorts of stuff you can obviously make elves you can make vampires you can make all sorts of cool things by just spending a bit of time in here and and going through that effort and yeah what's what's fantastic is that you can also make the characters here and then eventually share it for other people to use too i love it so yeah i've got like nothing to, i've got nothing negative to say about this whole system here it's just cool it's just one of the best gold standard stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed this video this look at the feminine human customization it's cool I, I, I would be able to sit here for, for many more hours talking about this and looking at all the different options and making cool characters. I would. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it too. You can check back here soon for more, as always. If you want to find my links, you can find them below. Uh, my coffee page and my Twitch stream. Both of them are down there. And hey, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly, happy to making those characters in Dragon's Dogma. Happy that.